Hi there, this is Anoop. Today we are going to learn about Intune settings catalog, a specific policy about antivirus notifications, how to set antivirus notification policy when opening attachment. So this is again session by Abhinav. He presented the session in last HDMD user community group event. He will go deep into how to select the policies, what are the settings you need to take care, etc, etc. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch. It out. I am Abhinav Rana. I am an IT professional working as an SCCM admin. So in this segment today we will go through configuration profiles as already mentioned. So this is one of the main aspect of uh, Indune. Let's start with the slides. So to give you an overview, I will share my screen. Configuration profiles. So the topics which we are going to cover here is what is configuration profiles, uses of configuration profiles and in the end we will take an example how we will create it in Indune. So let's start with what is configuration profiles. Configuration profiles in Microsoft Intune play a vital role in deploying settings on devices enrolled in an organization's Intune portal. These profiles determine the desired behavior of devices and specify which features or limitations should be implemented. So here configuration profiles in Intune allow us to deploy certain settings or some policies on the devices which are enrolled in our Intune or in our organization's Intune. And these policies will help us in making sure how the enrolled devices behave. Let's move to the second slide. By creating and assigning configuration profiles in Intune, administrators can ensure that devices comply with organizational policies security standards and specific requirements. Configuration profiles can be applied to devices running on different platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android, allowing for comprehensive device management across a variety of devices. So configuration profiles simply help us that enrolled devices must, must adhere to certain policies or security parameters or certain specific requirements as per our organization. So the devices that are enrolled in the Intune must follow these policies or security standards and specific requirements set by the organization. And you can see Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. These all platforms covered by this configuration profiles. Uses of configuration profiles. Configuration profiles in Intune can be used to configure various aspects of a devices, including device restrictions, Wi-Fi and VPN settings, email and exchange active sync configurations, certificate installation, security policy and more. These profiles are created and deployed from Intune console and can be targeted to a specific group of devices or users. So these are some examples to implement configuration profiles that will help us in providing certain restrictions or enabling certain features or disabling certain features on the devices which are enrolled in the Intune. We can easily deploy these policies or profiles with the help of Intune console and can be targeted easily on the specific groups of devices or users. Let's take an example of configuration profiles. There is a document by CIS mentioning list of configuration profiles one can implement in their infrastructure. This document can be easily downloaded from the CIS site. In this document, there are endless profiles which you can implement in your organization as per your organization's need. Here we are taking the example of notify antivirus when opening attachments using Intune. So enabling this policy setting instructs Windows to direct the registered antivirus program to scan the file when a user opens a file attachment. So for example, if you receive a mail and an attachment is attached in the mail, so when you download it, if we enable this policy in our organization, then it will directly uh, notify the antivirus program to scan the file if, when a user tries to open that file. And if there is something suspicious, it can block that file. And if the check is passed, then you can open that file. In the event that the antivirus program fails, the attachment will be blocked from being opened. So let's create this profile using Intune. To create this profile using Intune, you have to sign into the Intune portal as the link mentioned here. Then navigate to the path 
devices windows configuration profiles after configuration profiles there is a link come up like create profile then you have to click on here then in the side create a profile pane will open in here there are two options platform and profile type in platform we have to choose windows 10 and later option there is another option which is windows 8.1 and later so you can choose depending on the types of devices or operating system on which you want to implement your policy this one is profile type this is settings catalog and the another one is template there are certain templates from which you can use but here we are using settings catalog as we can create a profile from scratch to give an overview in the basic tab pane you will see there are three boxes first one is name then description and platform platform we have already selected in the previous tab now we have give the name of our policy like uh, notify antivirus program when opening attachments policy in description you may describe about this policy but here we are taking this is an example so we try to skip this then in the configuration settings tab you will see add settings mentioned here now you have to click over this after clicking over this settings picker window will open here is the main part because we have to choose the targeted policy which we have decided to implement here i search with the antivirus keyword depending on your policy you can search using that keyword only so if i search using antivirus these many settings will appear up so here i will select this as highlighted administrative templates windows component attachment manager so in this category there is one setting name which we are looking for notify antivirus programs when opening attachments so after selecting this setting you have to close this box then in the configuration settings tab you will see the selected setting will appear here and we have to enable it as i have highlighted here also so we have enabled this policy so whenever any attachment will come up and user try to download this this attachment this will notify our antivirus program and will scan that attachment after this we will simply select the group on which we want to implement this policy here i selected the test group we have to deploy this configuration profile on this test group here in the review plus create tab you have to go through all the settings you have created you will list check all the details here whenever you cross check everything you can simply click on create button and your profiles will be created now to monitor whether the profile is successful or not you have to go through the list of profiles and select your policy which you recently created you can check the device and user check-in status to see if the policy has been successfully applied or not here it is shown as succeeded to cross check on the user's device whether the policy which we implemented or deployed will be successfully implemented there or not there are certain parameters which we can follow the first one is to confirm this you can check in the event log in the event log navigate to the following path as application services logs then microsoft windows then device management enterprise diagnostics provider and admin here you will have to check by the event id 814 or 813 814 in the case of strings and 813 in the case of integers if you, you see this is policy and uh, the highlighted one is notify antivirus program and the area is attachment manager so you will confirm that the, this policy has been created and implemented on your device to check more you have to check in the registry also to confirm the registry key you can navigate to the blow path and check so this path is computer hk local machine software microsoft policy manager and providers till providers the path will be same apart from the here it will be depending on whether it is user based or device based if it is device based then this might vary from machine to machine after that default this one and attachments manager as this we can see this is a user based policy so attachment managers and the registry key is created here and it is enabled so in this way we can implement and deploy a configuration profile using intune and we can cross check on the our end user machines that it is implemented successfully or not that's it thank you yeah we can also use the new url right uh, that is intune.microsoft.com so as we can see this is the intune portal and the configuration profiles devices windows and then configuration profiles here we get this create profile icon if we click on create profile then in the side 
create a profile pan will open up and here are the two options as we see in the slides also first one is windows 10 and later and windows 8.1 and later here we choose this one and select a profile type settings catalog and templates for settings catalog we choose settings catalog as we are creating a profile from the scratch from the available settings and we can click on create this name is marked as mandatory so we have to enter some name here so i for a demo i can type antivirus policy here is the description and you see this is already selected windows 10 and later then we click on next see in the configuration settings here we get the add settings option and we have to click on this after clicking on this with settings picker window will open up and here we can type our keyword antivirus and search there are these many settings coming up and we have to check in which we have the settings which we are looking for so this is the one attachment manager and this is the setting name notify antivirus program when opening attachments this has been selected and we can close this by clicking on this close button here in configuration settings we can see the setting which we have selected in the previous step has come up here and now we have to enable it also if we can hover here on this i button we can read about this policy and understand that what it will do and how it will work. Now, if we click on next, so here are scope text. We can skip this. In the assignments, if we click on add group and if we search for our specific group, we can select by clicking here. This is selected. Now click on select and we can see groups. HTMB Abinav test group has been selected. There is one device only. We can click on next and in the review plus create pan, you can see all the details which you have selected in the previous steps. Like we have given name, our policy like antivirus policy, platform what we have chosen, our settings which we have enabled has come up here also and our group on which we have deployed this and we can click on by clicking create when you click create in the right top corner you can see policy created message has been come up policy antivirus created successfully we can also search here in configuration profiles antivirus policy has come up here and mentioned new year so we can click over here and you can check your reports here status succeeded error conflict not applicable and in progress depending on on how many machines it is succeeded on how many it has error or whether it has any conflict or it is not applicable to any certain devices or on how many it will be in progress okay Ambino, thank you very much so now you know how to notify antivirus when opening attachments and what are the policies you need to configure where to go and how to create those kind of policies and how to assign those policies to windows devices etc from abhinav hope this was useful thank you all for watching see you around